एच आई एंड सोलन लिम्फ नोड्स कॉजेस एंड सिम्टम्स एच आई इज ए वायरल इन्फेक्शन दैट इफेक्ट्स द इम्यून सिस्टम द लिम्फ नोड्स आर ए पार्ट ऑफ दिस सिस्टम एंड सोलन लिम्फ नोड्स कैन ऑकर इन द अर्ली और लेट स्टेजेस ऑफ द इन्फेक्शन ए लिम्फ नोड इज सोलन if it measures about half an inch wide and the cause is usually an infection solen lymph nodes can be an early symptoms of hiv and they can also occur in the later stages due to an opportunistic infection antiretroviral therapy is medication that can slow or stop the progression of hiv and keep the immune system strong enough to fight off infections this reduces or eliminates any complications related to hiv and helps ensure that the person can live a long and healthy life this video looks at the link between solen lymph nodes and hiv as well as treatments and outlooks for people with the condition lymph nodes and hiv a lymph node is a small bean shaped mass of tissue these nodes are part of the lymphatic system which helps the body fight infections there are about 600 lymph nodes throughout the body some are in deep tissues and others are in clusters close to the skin's surface solen lymph nodes are a sign that the body is fighting off an infection they feel like tender painful lumps and a person may notice them in both sides of the neck underneath the chin the armpits the groin solen lymph nodes can be an early symptoms of an hiv infection when the body first senses the virus and combats it the person may experience flu like symptoms or what doctors call seroconversion illness the person may also be able to feel solen lymph nodes throughout the areas the flu like symptoms usually appear within 2 to 4 weeks of ex- exposure to the virus and last for several days or weeks specific symptoms include a fever fatigue a rash muscle aches night sweats a sore throat solen lymph nodes in the throat groin or armpits sores or ulcers around the mouth or genitals nausea with or without vomiting not everybody experiences this types of symptoms however HIV enters white blood cells called CD4 cells and damages or destroys them. If the person does not receive effective treatment, the damage continues until the immune system is too weak to fight off infections. If the number of CD4 cells drops below 200 cells per cubic milliliter, a doctor diagnoses stage 3 HIV. This is the most advanced stage. A person with stage 3 HIV may develop various infections and illnesses due to damage to the immune system. These infections can lead to solen lymph nodes. In some people, solen or large lymph nodes are among the first signs of a stage 3 HIV infection and they may be enlarged. for more than 3 months other symptoms that can indicate stage stage 3 hiv include a fever herpes outbreaks that cause severe sores on the mouth or genitals a lack of energy persistent rashes shingles short term memory loss weight loss pelvic inflammatory disease that does not respond to treatment stage 3 hiv may not develop for a decade or more after the initial infection 
if a person receives effective treatment, HIV likely will not progress to this stage. Other causes of solen lymph nodes Solen lymph nodes can result from a range of infections other than HIV including the following common, common ones measles, strep throat, ear infections, tooth infections. Less common causes include tuberculosis, syphilis and toxoplasmosis. Solen lymph nodes can also result from cancers such as leukemia or lymphoma, which is cancer of the immune cells. Also, if a person does not receive treatment for HIV, they, they can become more susceptible to other infections and diseases and this can result in solen lymph nodes. Treatment First, the doctor diagnoses the cause and recommends a course of action. Taking into account the person's age, medical history, current health status, and how well they can tolerate certain medicines. If the underlying cause of solen lymph nodes is HIV, a person can take antiretroviral therapy to manage, manage the infection. Antiretroviral virals do not cure HIV. Instead, they reduce the amount of HIV in the body, called the viral load to very low levels. The goal of this treatment is to make the viral load undetectable. This means that the person has fewer than 200 copies of the virus per milliliter of blood. Once the medication achieves this, the virus cannot affect the person's overall health and it cannot transmit to others. Some refer to this as untransmissible equals undetectable or U is equal to U. Even when the viral load is undetectable, HIV remains in the body, so it is crucial to continue taking the medication and having levels tested regularly. When to contact a doctor? Solen lymph nodes can result from a wide range of infections and they can represent one symptoms of early HIV. It is impossible to diagnose HIV by its symptoms alone. The only way to be sure involves testing. Anyone who wants to know their status or who may have recently been exposed to the virus should take a test or contact a healthcare provider for advice. Healthcare providers can offer preventive medication called post-exposure prophylaxis or PEP. If a person takes it within 72 hours of contact with the virus, it can prevent HIV. Meanwhile, anyone with solen lymph, lymph should contact a doctor if any of the following occurs. The nodes are getting bigger. They have been solen for two weeks or more. They feel heard. They do not move when pressed. They accompany night sweats or a very high fever and have lasted longer than three or four days. There are no other symptoms of illness. To diagnose the cause of solen lymph nodes, a doctor performs a physical exam and asks about symptoms and recent activities. They may also send off a blood or tissue sample for testing. In some cases, doctors ex extract a sample of fluid from one of the nodes and test it for bacteria.